RMR Jacksonville, Wilmington, Newburgh. Broadcasting live from the Perry's Emporium Studio, home of the rainy day diamond guarantee. This is Modern Rock 98.7. And welcome to Local Lounge. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. It's Vaughn joined by Olivia, intern Olivia, soon to be just Olivia, right? That's right. Not What's up? Anymore. What's going on? Wait, you're not an intern now? I've got like two more weeks. Okay. So kind of an intern, but not really. And uh, we're joined uh, in studio tonight by uh, the guys from Medicated Sunfish. We have Isaac. What's up, Isaac? What's up? What's up? Thanks for coming in. Josh. How you doing? Uh, Derek. Going on and Aaron. Hey, hey. All right, we heard Joe. Thanks for coming in, guys. How are you? Doing good, doing good. Yeah, happy to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're thanks for coming. Excited. In. Yeah, it's gonna be great. So, um, you guys have been a band for how long? Let's let's start from the beginning. Uh, I would say, I'd say like we met maybe like three years ago, like kind of thing. We kind of just did like acoustic jams all the time. Josh, Josh, and this is Isaac, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, we just kind of over time. We're lucky enough to find really good musicians like these guys to surround ourselves with. And basically, just keep growing and developing from there and keep jamming and growing, starting from one spot. Started off doing acoustic gigs around town, and about two years ago, we picked up uh, drums and bass. Yeah, yeah. And moved from there and did a few shows at the Whiskey. Yeah, Whiskey's kind of definitely our home. Yep. Home it's your wheelhouse, yeah. yeah. yeah All right, cool. That's, that's your hometown bar. We love there, yeah, yeah, exactly. But, uh... And then we started getting out of town and stuff. Things are getting better. Just dropped an EP not long ago, too. That's, I don't know. That's, That's the self-titled EP that I'm holding in my hand right now, right? Yes, sir, it is. Okay. And is everybody here? Because there's more people on the EP here than are in the studio. We, we were lucky enough to have, like, really good musicians play with us during okay. that time. And uh, Tom McDonald's a really good friend of ours. And Jared Sales from Coastal Collective. He also is featured on the last track. He does yeah, we just saw him. He did the wing fling thing. He yeah, he was awesome. Yeah, we also have Alex Lee playing drums who kills it, man. He's really good. Nice. He's famous, man. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, well, we're going to hear some of this. We'll listen to uh, a few songs. You guys brought instruments, too, so that's really cool. Um, yeah. Are you going to play something from the EP, or are you going to do uh, something we haven't heard before? I think, I think, we'll we, from the EP. I think we're going to do something from the EP. Oh, yeah? Okay. Before, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, Probably won't sound good, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure it'll sound just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, what do you want to ask these guys? You know them, right? Yeah, I've known them for a couple of years Hi, now. Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Hi, guys. <laughs> I actually work with Isaac's sister at Circa, um, my second job. Nicole. Nicole. Mm -hmm. Hey, Nicole, if you're Much listening. Love, Nicole. Um, so, yeah, I saw these guys out on the town a couple of nights, liked their style, liked their sound. And then I kind of got a little closer with them the more I went out on the music scene. And then I got to know Nicole really well and got to know Isaac better and just kind of been a little groupy i guess <laughs> checking them out and stuff yeah. but yeah no they're they're really great and i'm glad that they're here and they're actually on my first debut local lounge Woohoo! yeah we're nice. so happy to be here you're making it a lot more comfortable and stuff for us anyway knowing you and all that so. yeah no yeah. it's awesome yeah we're blessed to be here yeah it if you weren't here then i would be nervous and they would be nervous so you're <laughs> yeah. like a you're really you nice all this awkward yeah, tension when you first meet people and stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're like they're like who's this old who's this old dude <laughs> and his cap? How can we relate to this guy? <laughs> we are here uh, in studio with medicated sunfish. Uh, Isaac, Josh, Derek, and Aaron are joining us tonight uh, for sort of a chat, and we'll spotlight their EP. And when did you guys record the EP? How long ago? Uh, it, it took about a year. Um, we recorded it with uh, Karen Kane out of Low Tide Studios. Nice. And uh, it's actually right up the road, and uh, right up near the uh, the bridge, Riceville. Mm -hmm. Beautiful Great spot, spot to play, man. Yeah. And it was so scenic and right on the water. It felt like we were in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. It was, it was perfect. perfect. Just took, it took us a long time to really kind of get everyone together and kind of tweak everything out. But Karen's a beast as a producer. She, she definitely was, made us sound so a lot better than we are. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You guys are very modest, I think. But uh, what... What do you love about the studio? Is it the first time that you've been in studio, like re recording music? It, it was the first time I really took it like seriously, I guess. Yeah. Right? Like I, in like in that professional of a setting yeah. too, definitely. Definitely do like trinkets at home, like home studios, definitely get bigger and stuff, all that. But yeah, that was I don't know. The studio experience for me was just intense. We tried to do our perspective of like jamming and like keeping the energy flowing and like movement through the music and like have that live sound brought out. Mm -hmm. So we did a lot of different things and she was really easy to work with and like, I don't know. 
That's just crazy. That's crazy. crazy. So you probably might go back there. Uh, oh, did you want to say something, Aaron? Yeah, Karen works at uh, UNCW teaching sound engineering, and she's just incredibly professional. She has a lot of great experience recording a lot of big names, and it was just great. Absolute pleasure to work with her. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good name drop on since Karen. She's about the 60s. So. <laughs> she what? She's recorded since the 60s. Is that so, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah well, good for her, man. Yeah, she's doing good stuff. All right, so that's a good place uh, for all you people. Uh, what, what was the name of the studio? Low Tide Studios. Low Tide Studios. For all you kids out there that want to go cut an EP, that's where you go do it. Um, and then you guys are probably, it always happens when you record something, you get a taste for the studio, and you're out playing and stuff. You probably want to do more in the studio oh, now. Yeah, yeah, we right. definitely want to go back, get back very in. soon. So we'll probably go back there and stuff and see how that goes. But we also want to experience new things and like try out new ideas and travel. It's a lot of why we're doing this. Yeah. So we'll probably do something different too. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's just writing and stuff we got, right I think now. We're about to record a song or a couple songs down in Florida coming up. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, school kind of stuff. That's not official yet, but we're going through that process, I guess, right now. You're cutting your teeth on the road. You're getting out of uh, your circle and you're, you know, yeah. getting out there. That's good. Yeah, and we're lucky enough to be in a town that's got a lot of great bands that are really starting to make moves like that, like Group Fetish and Coastal. Wilmington's just like the perfect size town where you can kind of get noticed and like kind of be able to play with. Uh, like local bands as well as national acts on a, like a better like a more personal level. We played with freaking Frank Zappa band. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, what? Wow. Yeah, that was a crazy, crazy thing. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. It was like it's just wild how it happens down here. It's just you kind of, It's like a close knit community of musicians where everyone knows each other on a first name basis, and it's really, really cool. That's awesome. All right, why don't we hear some of this uh, EP? This is your self titled debut EP, right? Medicated yeah. Sunfish. And we'll go uh, with the intro into Know My Name, which is a song that we've been playing here probably for the last, I would say, month or two anyways. That's so awesome. So it's, uh, <laughs> it sounds really good, guys. Uh, oh, we'll do okay. this uh, intro into Know My Name. It's Local Lounge, the guys from Medicated Sunfish, Modern Rock 98.7. <laughs>
What's up? It's Modern Rock 98.7. You're listening to the Local Lounge. This is Olivia. You just heard Medicated Sunfish, Know My Name, off their debut self-titled album. They're here in studio with us right now, <laughs> hanging out. They're about to play a live song right now off their EP. The song's called Little Sky. All right. Let's see. Thank you. 
awesome. Nice. Good Sweet. job. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, that, that was, was great. Fun. That, that was, was fun. called Little Sky. If you're just tuning in here, Modern Rock 98.7. Here with Medicated Sunfish. Yeah, That's yeah. the third, technically, if you count the intro into their new self-titled yeah, EP. Yeah, it's technically our single, like, kind of from the album and yeah. stuff, too. Our friends like to give a joke called, like, Big Tree or, or Little like, tree. Lo Lonely Caterpillar or something like that. Also, it's got a, it's got a few names locally. <laughs> it's got a few names locally. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's awesome. I love that jam there. That's probably one of my favorites off of the new EP. Okay, we're going to take a quick break here. We're in studio with Medicated Sunfish, Vaughn and Olivia here on Local Lounge. We'll be back with more from the guys next. Modern Rock 98.7. Modern Rock 98.7, welcome back. This is Local Lounge. I'm Olivia. We're here hanging out with Medicated Sunfish. One thing that I really like about the local bands is how they really bring their own style to their songs. But another really cool thing is when they do all your favorite covers. Do you guys have a favorite cover song that you play when you go out? Oh, dude, Funky Duck is probably the best one. Antoine Stanley's probably my favorite singer right now. Wolfpack is like an awesome groove band and it's just really, it's really fun. It's really fun. It's real dancey and I don't know, kind of make it our own in it's a way. Funky. Yeah, it's just funky. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's that art be gone. But we also do like a, we also like Brick, like doing Brick a lot. We do some Pink Floyd. Also, yeah, we Jimi Hendrix. Kind of, yeah, we like doing everything. It's just like every other local band, they kind of do covers the same way we do and just kind of make it their own and stuff, I feel like. Yeah. So. No, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, Isaac, I know that you really like Ray LaMontagne. I do. He He's really good. He's like not, he's not my like favorite guy, but I get recognized, or not recognized, but I get told a lot that I sound like him, especially when I do acoustic. Yeah, so. you do a little bit. So, yeah, yeah. With that, but that's that's <laughs> Trevor Hall. <laughs> Trevor Hall's yeah, Trevor Hall's a big influence <laughs> for me. I like his ideology also behind it and all that. Well, do you guys have any like really big shows or shows that you're really excited about coming up anytime soon in the month in, in the end of April or May? Graduation's coming up. You plan any? We got the whiskey uh, pre uh, Shikori Hills party coming up on uh, May fourth. May fourth. Yeah, and that's also the day before graduation and stuff too. So. Yeah, I'll be graduating that weekend. Yeah, so that would be a lot of fun playing back there. It's been a while since we played at the Whiskey too, so that would be a good time. Yeah, that's actually the only one we have in uh, the month of uh, May in yeah. Wilmington. in Wilmington, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're doing a little bit of traveling right now. Traveling so, around. So. Where is Shakori Hills? It's right outside of, uh, near like Chapel Hill, maybe 15, 20 minutes outside of there. Okay, are you guys playing at it or you're just doing the pre Aaron, thing here? Aaron is playing at it with Temple Five, his other group and stuff. Sweet. He's with out there. Yeah, yeah they're, they're so good. They played at it last year. Yeah, they're so good. They played at it last year and stuff and they did such a good job. They got the Saturday night set in the tent again, right? Yeah, and stuff. Um, we'll see. It's going to be 10 p.m. on Saturday night. We'll be playing there with Temple Five. It should be a good Good time, man. They're an awesome group. Hip hop, jazz, fusion, like no other. It's really good. What's the date of that festival? Do you know off the top of your head? That's going to be the first weekend in May. So first weekend in May. So. The 5th to the 8th. I okay. Think. And we're playing here in Wilmington that Wednesday before the festival, Medicated Sunfish. Yeah. Awesome. The At the Whiskey. Mm -hmm. yeah. My favorite bars down here. I love yeah, that bar. We love it. We love it. I've saw some of my, like, the. Some of the local bands that I'm closest with around here, like Nautilus, which we actually play uh, a little bit of their stuff in here. They're all kind of dispersed now, doing their own thing. But right, right. I got really close with them at the Whiskey. Um, they're, they're really good. Anytime they do a show out there, it is packed like no other. They have reunion shows every now and then. So yeah, it's, but the Whiskey's good. not like a very big venue at all. But when they get a good band there, someone who's just good at marketing themselves they get it packed oh, out yeah. it is and packed. it's always a party it is so much right fun. in the yeah. middle of downtown mm -hmm. right on front street yeah and they have the best sound guys in town and best lights really right now great stuff, drink right? specials the phil the owner does the lights and stuff basically well well every band plays paul 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 the owner does the lights and stuff basically while everyone plays yeah they've got that soundboard right there in the middle of it all yeah paul yeah paul. shout out paul shout out paul <laughs> <laughs> so would you say the whiskey's been your favorite it's, i mean you said it's like home so is the whiskey your favorite place you've ever played or is it just the most 
most comforting <laughs> that's, kind that's of. Lot, I don't know. Because you be guys amazing. performed, and I feel like, all over. Yeah. Like, you go all the way down to Charleston, to Winston-Salem. Right. We're actually just hitting Charleston and stuff. We just hit that show recently. So, but, uh, yeah, uh, that was on Wednesday. But uh, we mainly go up north and stuff right now, up to D.C. is where we've been getting stuff. Virginia, a little bit of Maryland and stuff like New York, that. That's uh, in the works on uh, Long Beach. Come yeah, on. we're going to get some stuff in Long Beach. We also have a Puerto Rico hookup, and we're going to get that going and stuff, too, get an acoustic thing going on down there. During August, we're thinking, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Everything's not official. <laughs> yeah, but we're trying to. We're just, yeah, we're just trying yeah. to take any opportunity we can, really, right now. But I'm trying to think of a really good show. We, what's a really fun, really, really fun show? We did. I like, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. We play, it's like kind of all blurs together at this point. One of my favorite, <laughs> I don't know, one of my favorite moments, we were playing at the Ziggy's in Winston, and there really, there really wasn't anyone there. We were playing downstairs. Oh, yeah. And we are playing downstairs, and there's like five people there. Because we were playing so early in the day, they had one so many bands. One of the five people is, uh. And one of the five people is Todd Nance from Widespread, from Widespread Panic. Panic. And he's right beside the stage, and he's banging his head. So that, that was a really cool moment of definitely playing. Yeah, we got to play on like a massive stage too. So it was like a real big stage with not a big crowd, but it was just a lot of energy coming out of like the amps. And yeah, it was so much it sound. Was a lot it's of just, fun. We yeah, had a the lot whole of fun place vibrated and stuff. So it was still a lot of fun doing that. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. We we just did a show at Bulls. That's a lot of fun. I like playing. Bulls there. Tavern, Bulls Tavern, Winston Salem, Salem. Was good, uh -huh. real fun. Uh -huh. You guys have been going there a lot recently. Do you have just like pick up pick up your stuff and head down there? Like, how does that work when you have a show? I just pack up everything and go for a weekend, for a Pretty night? Much. Basically, <laughs> we kind of wing it. But luckily, a lot of other bands do that, too. Just calculated so chaos. A lot of venues are kind yeah. enough, like uh, the owner of uh, Bulls, Daniel, we stayed at her place. Actually, we stayed at Lucy Cruz's place, Brett. Yeah, Brett. Brett. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, and we get those hookups basically through, like, really nice guys and other bands, like Marvelous Function and Fat Cheat Cat basically help us out on getting into Winston-Salem. Dylan and Z Dubs helped us out and they get into Washington, D.C., stuff like that. Three Fetch has helped us on getting Tree some House and all that. Tree House, yeah. And Merle Beach and stuff. Yeah, all those things. Yeah, they really were just up at Kelly Roots. Yeah, Crossbones Tavern Show in Greenville. That was a lot. The Stern's Fast, 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 Fast. Fast. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. The, uh, the sound was really good there. And, uh, Solid Joe's another really good band that has helped us out and getting. They helped us out on that gig, too. Yeah. So. Now, Kelly Roots was just. This past weekend, the weekend before, have you guys ever played at Cali Roots before? We no. played after the Cali Roots last year. With, uh, <laughs> we do that after party, but we're not we're not, we're not there yet. Yeah, we haven't played at Cali Roots yet. Well, you guys keep playing this good stuff, and maybe you'll be there one day. That would be cool. That we're would gonna. Be cool. All right, so we've got another live one for you here in studio with Medicated. This song is called Airwaves.
Awesome guys, you just heard Medicated's Airwaves. We need to take a short break, but we'll be right back. Thanks for tuning in. It's Local Lounge, Modern Rock 98.7. Modern Rock 98.7, Local Lounge, Vaughn Olivia joined by Medicated Sunfish here, and that was uh, Airwaves off their new EP, or their self-titled EP. Is it available in stores around town here? Can they go pick up I a copy? I dropped it off at Gravity Records today. So. Oh, did you? Yeah, we're, ho we're hoping we'll get involved there and stuff. But we also, we are, uh, we're lucky enough to be a part of Homegrown. Uh, uh, so it's going to be available for distribution online through there them. Go. There you go. We're going to be doing, uh, it's on iTunes, Spotify, uh, and all like the uh, Zunes. And if you have a Zune. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'll be, uh, it's so we got it available on. through digital stuff, and but hopefully we'll through a local We, we pretty much have all the hard copies, so if you want to. Reach out. So aside episode. from merch, you can go to Gravity Records and get a hard copy, or, and then you can go to Zoom, is it? It's on, yeah, pretty much all the online marketplaces. Okay, so Spotify, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys have, like, your own Facebook page and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, we have Facebook, Reverb Nation, uh, nice. Instagram. Do we have our own website? <laughs> not yet. It's not on <laughs> no. Twitter. It's getting there, right? Yeah, yeah. Not yet. Got one tweet. Oh, uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there on that. But. <laughs> Follow us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what? Go ahead. I was gonna say you guys keep up with your Instagram account pretty, pretty frequently. I follow you on that. Your person's <laughs> yeah. stuff on there. Who's in charge of the Instagram that's account? Not There's us. not that's actually Alyssa. any of us, so that's probably why it's doing so well. Yeah, Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a list. Did you know so. even know it was out there? Oh yeah. Yep. When she oh, told us. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. We we basically created it. And yeah, Isaac typically like, doesn't have phone service Monday through Friday, and yeah. we get a phone call for Saturday Sunday. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that. that's, that's my dates of availability. <laughs> Let's. Uh, I wanted to jump into another song off the EP. Yeah. So let's this do it. this will be uh, pre-recorded here. We are in studio, joined by Medicated Sunfish this week on Local Lounge. Uh, thanks so much, guys, for coming in. This is great. Thank you. Um, so we're gonna do uh, Maker cool. off the EP. All right. Local Lounge, Modern Rock ninety eight seven, Medicated Sunfish, Maker.
my words I've been saying before I don't want this so well To be what's left on the curtain See with this life I am a different time Oh, no, 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 no Play with my own I wanna see my life Carolina's Modern Rock 98.7. It's Local Lounge. You just heard Medicated Sunfish's Maker from their self-titled debut EP. I wanted to talk a little bit about influences with you guys. Is that cool? Yeah, that's, that's cool. So, like, uh, you're very young guys, and uh, when, like, what was the age that music really got under your skin, and, and what was it that made you say, oh, man, I need to do this, or at least give it a good shot? Yeah. For me personally, I've been singing through like chorus and choir like my whole life and stuff. I was like a ninth grade second soprano and stuff and just still sticking with it. But first time I really felt music was when I started to learn to play drums and get that heartbeat going in me and that rhythmic like movement, I guess, and that sway of music that affects all of us. So 
that's really when I got into music. So I guess I was like 13 when I really started to feel it, and that was when I realized, okay, I'm not. I'm, I don't think I'm going to do anything else anymore. <laughs> this is about <laughs> this it. This is it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the formative years. What about you, Josh? Uh, I was about nine or ten when I started playing the violin. I played that for about three years and uh, made my mom really angry because it was like really loud and squeaky. So she got me a guitar. Actually, uh, her brother got me a guitar for her wedding present, and it was a lot quieter than the violin. I kind of picked that up ever since. And then not for long, it was quiet. Yeah, it was quiet. I got an amp after about three years of having that, and then she hated it more than the violin. <laughs> but I figured out how to play it a little bit. So <laughs> I don't know. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad it's I could play music. Nice. What about you, Derek? Step up to the mic there, buddy. Uh, me and Aaron. I know Aaron. you're only nine, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, I'm at least 20, right? <laughs> no, but yeah, me and my brother Aaron here, we've, been, uh, we've had a very musical family, so from the age of zero, as we can remember, we've been playing music. We both took piano lessons since we were like seven. He took to that more than I did, but I ended up really playing bass and drums more than anything. Cool. Yeah, our dad, big shout out to, you know, Edgar. He, Edgar! <laughs> he's, uh, he's the man, and he, he opened a music store when I was four years old. <laughs> Derek was born the next year, and, you know, we were just born into it, so. Did we want to do Minor Ave pre recorded, or was that going to be one of the live tunes that we were going to do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do it live. That'd be cool. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and do it. All right. All right. So, Medicated Sunfish, here they are with Minor Ave. From their debut self-titled EP, it's Local Lounge on Modern Rock 98.7.
Nice. That was awesome. Thank you. Woo! Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm a little out of breath now, man. I like that we're Isaac's playing way more live than we planned. <laughs> if you're just tuning in, this is Coastal Carolina's Modern Rock 98.7. I'm Olivia here with Vaughn and Medicated Sunfish. We're slowly making the shift to have me going on to do the local lounge. Slowly, yes. Yeah. Slowly, slowly but surely. Slowly yeah, yeah, but yeah. surely. Yeah. Olivia on the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking about instead of local lounge, you might start hearing Liv's local lounge. Liv? Liv's Ooh. local lounge. Whoa. How does that That's sound? That's got a ring to it. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. Now that is ownership. <laughs> yeah. Right there. So I got to kind of make this my own eventually, I guess, and adopt it. Yeah. Love it. Uh, I love it. It's my little baby, and I, I, uh, I think I leave it in good hands with Olivia once we get things going and yeah, yeah, yeah. live, you know. And you guys will come back, and and this will be a completely different show, you know. Uh, okay, Thank we'll God. have like Thank we'll God. have like <laughs> I don't know, we'll have like neon signs on the wall or something. I'll just put my strobe picture lights everywhere going and stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for coming in. I wouldn't Thank have, wouldn't have so done anything if they wouldn't have came. We are honored <laughs> to be here. Yeah, part of the local it's scene. Good. Yeah, it's really nice meeting you guys, Isaac, Josh, Derek, and Aaron from Medicated Sunfish, and uh, follow them online uh, wherever they are. Um, you mentioned Instagram and uh, Facebook, and you can uh, check in on them and follow them uh, on their travels and stuff like that, and and keep uh, your ear out for new music you guys want to get back into the studio and cut some more uh tunes i know so uh, best of luck with all that and man thanks so much for taking the time tonight we appreciate yeah. it thank you man right. hopefully we'll be thank back you. yeah definitely all right take care guys